So it's Teletubby Tidal Wave time again. Uh, that was a mouthful. Uh, a bit of a recap. What the fudge is the Teletubby Tidal Wave? Well, uh, I'm building it for the Ramsgate Festival of Sound. It's going to be uh, displayed on a big grass mound at the Ravensgate Arms, which is the boating pool in uh, Ramsgate, uh, for a few days. And you'll be able to walk, look at it. It's from the 2nd of September, 1st of September to the 5th of September, something like that. I know I've got to get a move on because there's only about two weeks left. Uh, yeah, basically. Basically, there's going to be a whole line of Teletubbies that do a little, little wavy dance that cascades on down and you're able to control it by the button. And yeah, I've, it's a pretty silly idea, but I'm going to really want to try it because I've been collecting these Teletubbies for yonks. So at the end of the last video, we got to seven Teletubbies in a line doing their thing, one after the other, going down and stuff, and it sort of looks like that, you know, the wavy, dancey thing, and it's pretty cool, and basically what we need to do now is pretty much amplify it. In the last video, I had one board that had eight relays on it and a serial to parallel shift register. What this was, was the brains behind the whole machine. I explained it all in that video, so go and check it out over there, and basically what we need to do is we needed to amplify this out uh, multiple times in order to be able to control more Teletubbies. Well, this thing right here is the nerve center of the Teletubby tidal wave. It's the brains behind the beast and I nearly dropped it. I've been building this for the last couple of days. It's basically five of those uh, circuit boards with eight relays on them each. So that means there's 40 relays in here and there's a whole bunch of inputs and outputs on screw terminals. Screw terminals because they're cheap. I would have loved to have gone for something like the Vargo kind of clippy things, but they're expensive when you want to get this many. There's like a 30 or 40 of them on each circuit board. So it doesn't, it, it does it gets expensive. So each of these circuit boards has a chip, which is a serial to parallel shift register. And the plan is what we're going to do is we're going to be able to make these cascade down one after the other and just basically make the whole relays go You'll notice that uh, there's a bunch of 3D printed parts. I printed these on the low spot mini and these are pretty much kind of like uh, stackable uh, shelving type of things. I designed this in a very reactive kind of manner. Reactive meaning I made it up as I went and I tend to make it up as I go when I've got a big project that I need to do reasonably quickly. The reason being is it takes a long time to plan and if you're planning it all at once uh, sometimes you don't take into account certain problems and stuff and then you end up wasting more time than literally designing it bit by bit and then just thinking okay well I've got that now how do I make the next bit work so yeah I designed the circuit boards without thinking about how to stack them and yeah after that I decided to stack them like this and it ends up quite well because the relays are actually easy to take in and take out and replace if they break which they won't because these are impressively robust in fact that sequencer relay sequencer I built a couple of months ago I haven't had to replace a relay yet and that's been running for yonks even some of them have been running at audio rates so yeah, go, go figure. The circuit board that I used last week had a few mistakes on it, but I didn't want to waste it. So I actually reused that uh, a couple of days ago. There's a video on this museum's Not Obsolete's YouTube channel about it now controlling a 220 volt plasma seven segment uh, display. It's basically a Nixie tube-ish in the shape of a seven segment display. It's pretty massive, it's this big. And Mike's electric stuff dropped it off uh, along with another few things that we're gonna be looking at over on that YouTube channel. Go and check it out. It's actually really surprisingly enjoyable just to push it and let it cascade. It's a really nice and interactive thing and it actually makes me think that this is gonna be pretty fun as well. So what I need to do now is wire all of the power into all of these, five volts into each of them, and then the clock in from here to there. And then what we need to do is we need to cascade it along. Remember last time I had a button that I pushed and it made these go What we need to do is we need to wire the end of the top board, the last to actually trigger the next one. And then what that's gonna do is it's gonna go and then that one's gonna tell that one to start. So we have one button telling this to start and then the rest of them just keeps on going and going and going. At least I hope. So I'm gonna wire it in and I'll see you on the other side. Now I know what you're thinking, you're like, geez Louise, that is a mess, that is awful. Even Lala thinks that is disgusting. Yeah, I know, I know, it is a rubbish wiring job, but I, I've learned something over the last few years of doing this kind of stuff is, there's no point doing a neat, bo neat job until you know it works, because there's nothing worse than bodge jobbing neat wires. So like, it's all gonna change. I need to change it all anyway, but power up to the power supply. Kaplammy, oh, it was already on, five volts. 
uh, we get the button, which is an arcade button. I've just got to wire that into here and boom, we can see if this uh, makes the Teletubby gods proud. You can see on the top that the clock is uh, flashing. That is the speed at which the relays will move. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what this does, shall we? Let's listen to the heavenly clicks of the relays. Let's see if we have pleased the Teletubby gods. Oh my God. Oh no, oh no. <gasps> oh no. Oh dear, I've made some serious mistakes with this circuit board, I gotta say. So the cascade outs don't work, so I need to do this anyway. It looks like a right mess right now, but it works, it works. Let's look at the positives. Let's have a listen. Look at that! It does it! So what you see in there is the same thing that happened in the last video, but the last one of uh, the top board is telling the next one to go. So it's pretending to push the button. So this is pushing this one's button, this one is pushing this one's button, this one is pushing this one's button, and so on. Now we can actually have them all running at once. And let them go. Send in a crazy pattern. So for a single one of these boards, I've updated the schematic, and the schematic is right here. You'll see that the uh, box on the side, uh, on that side, it's a serial to parallel shift register, the 74HC595. The other boxes are the relays. As you'll see there's a number of resistors and transistors. These all do jobs to stop the relays blowing everything up. So, um... Oh, yeah. I'm gonna sit speed it up now. Oh! I could sit and play with this forever. So there we go, the nerve center is sort of working. What I need to do next is uh, sort of clean this up and uh, get it going. I need to think about the power supply. The power supply is not ideal at the minute. I might be making this solar powered for the actual show, which would be kind of cool. I'm gonna be using D sub connectors. These are the ones that you use to plug into your printer between the Teletubbies and this thing. I still don't know what I'm gonna put this in. I'm thinking a nice see-through crystal case. I'll get some uh, plastic, hopefully not as thick as the one that I made the Leslie guitar, uh, bulletproof Leslie guitar speaker from, but you never know. So anyway, that's that. By the way, this museum is not obsolete, is open this weekend. However, I'm really sorry, it's, the tickets have sold out. But if you wanna book tickets advance, because it's all advanced booking right now only, but there's a fair few dates right up to the end of September that you can get tickets in and you know, they tend to sell out before. So if you want them, go and check them out now. But anyway, that's the nerve center. I'm looking at my computer. This is a Teletubby. This museum is not obsolete. And yeah, don't be scared to try it. Hmm.